Greetings, class. Thank you for joining me today for this discussion on telling the story of post-war America. And reflecting on that post-war period of American history, the developing economy, the changing lifestyle, one of the most influential figures and the focus of today's discussion was none other than William Levitt, known for his use of the mass production system and assembly line method, converting it into the housing industry or real estate development uh, industry. And as a result, had a major influence on the demographic shift in America from urban areas to the suburbs. So utilizing primary source material from historic American media outlets such as the New York Times, the Washington Post, and Time Magazine, as well as images and documents from the Library of Congress, this video seeks to describe Levitt's experience in the post-war American economy and then highlight his influence on this key demographic shift in American history through the emerging housing market at that time. In World War II, Levitt actually served in the Navy as a lieutenant in the Naval Construction Battalion known as the Seabees. And after returning back from the war, and even in the midst of the war really, he, he really began to develop this passion to respond to a need. And the need that he saw was affordable housing, particularly for returning veterans. His first successful housing development in the post-war era was located uh, near Hampstead in Long Island, New York, and was given the name Levittown. And in this construction, he was able to utilize various assembly line and mass production construction methods to create these new suburban communities. And in that way, lots of homes were created uh, initially to a, to a plan in which he had laid out and, and cr created a system uh, noted to be about a 27-step system of production. And the houses would be produced simultaneously with various subcontracting groups responsible for different aspects of the labor. Um, and so we see like in some of the pictures you have uh, the stairwells already prefabricated, some of the walls are prefabricated, you already have like tubs and things that are already in place and you have different teams that will come by and do various aspects of the assembly. And so he was able to really ramp up production and produce these houses on a, a, on a massive scale uh, and, and do it very quickly to respond to this housing need. And as a result, he was able to mass produce these houses at a very affordable rate, uh, as little as $8,000 house furnishings, everything included. Uh, and in today's money, that's roughly about $135,000. And particularly for veterans, by the time they received uh, financial assistance through the GI Bill or the Federal Housing Subsidy Program, uh, they were able to basically have a, like a $400 down to, to own a new home, which is roughly like $6,700 today, uh, which is crazy because that's much cheaper than a car today, much less a home. And so really... Levitt ultimately became the epitome of the 1950s image. As a result, uh, he was actually published in Time Magazine uh, in 1950 as kind of the poster boy or image for this new emerging uh, American society, the, the affluent society. Uh, and, and alongside his cover image, it's, it was uh, titled House Builder Levitt for Sale, A New Way of Life. And that's really what he represented and what he contributed is that these homes were very affordable, for, particularly for returning veterans, and people began to transition out from the cities, um, the urban communities, into these suburbs, which came to define the 1950s uh, and really has, has continued since then in a lot of ways. In this week's text, um, Lorenzo Formani's uh, essay, Gross Domestic Problem, How the Politics of GDP Shape Society and the World, he notes kind of a significant change of GDP in terms of how it shapes the economy and the fiscal structure, it, it represents a key indicator a lot of times of the nation's economic health and also usually kind of some of the primary goals and initiatives of the administration. And in post-war America, largely as Levitt is building and constructing these homes, residential investment during that period actually, particularly towards new housing, uh, was a 6.9% uh, share of the entire GDP of the country, which is nearly double what the usual average is. And so there was a great investment in housing, and Levitt was a major part of that. 
And as a result, Levitt built multiple communities, obviously there in New Jersey, uh, other areas of New Jersey as well, down in Maryland, another very notable one up in Pennsylvania. And so by the time we get to the 1960s, uh, Levitt has become very influential in terms of uh, creating these homes that have come to define the American way of life. Uh, and also, he has at that point become one of the richest men in America, with Time Magazine estimating his fortune to be in excess of $100 million. And ultimately, he's gone down in Time Magazine's recognition as one of the 100 most important people in the 20th century America. And so Levitt clearly had a lasting impact and has helped shape the nation in many ways. Thank you.